nothing is working and then the unbelievers are trying to face that the God you say you are serving there is no need for, to serve him we are doing fraudulent acts we are misbehaving there is no consequence for it and they are throwing at your face the money they have the success they have and you are there you are paying your tax you are giving your friends out, following every instruction that you're giving to you. And then, that is working. Jobs, no jobs, no good jobs. You can't it, mention it. And then, the believers are there. So, is it what getting angry with God? Maybe God is angry. God is partial. If you're angry with God, God is partial. God doesn't listen to you. Uh, I don't know. I felt like that. So that, that's why, that's why, that's what I'm talking to us on, on, on the God and anger with the Holy Priest. Because I, I think deeply about it, you meet people and then you wonder why should they have miscarriage? Why should I be caught for a job interview and I'm told I'm good? And I don't get the job. Someone is going to talk because they feel that the person has a longer leg. The person has a better connection than I am. So, on this time that we are, that's what we want to talk about. So, your comments will be well appreciated. Tell us your mind. Tell me your mind. Let's just talk about it together. Because I feel that some things are wrong. I need to be corrected. I feel that some things are not supposed to be, even as a child of God. Is anything working? Really, really working. Can God be trusted as I asked before? Can God be right? Does not favor one pass another person. Does God follow his word? These are the things that I feel that as a child of God, it does matter. Now, I want to encourage somebody because I've been there. I remember the last time I shared this testimony to people felt that I cannot be true. In Lagos, that I am. I tell people I tread so much that I ask myself, is there, no, is there a hope for me? Is there a reality of success somewhere waiting for me one day? I remember last time I tread from Lagos, from Mushi Unusha, down to where I reside. About two to four hours trekking. And when I got home, there were blisters on my leg. And I was asking myself, how long? No, and it's not the first time that I did the trekking. And in the only scripture that I have reminded of, hope the fat, make the heart, 
Meaning you expect and then just before you get it, it vanishes away. Now I come to encourage somebody here. That the God that we serve, even though you get angry with him, even though it looks as if God is not listening, even though it looks as if God has forgotten us, even though it looks as if God is not faithful again, I can assure you today, I can guarantee you today, just a matter of time, things will be the work out fine. Me up online and was saying that nothing is working in his life. As if God is just angry with him. And I asked him a simple question Are you Christian? Are you to God? He gave me all the things that they needed to give me about. And then you wonder, even you can start, uh, how would I put it, being compassionate, yeah? thinking alongside with him. But the truth of the matter is, God. Is still God, you know, this morning I talked to my pastor and I was and I decided to tell him something. He read something from his iPad and saying, Confirming about the authority of God, about that nobody can separate us from the love of God, about the tribulation we pass through, the affliction we pass through, about it being to perfect us. I want to encourage somebody today, regardless of what you are going through, being angry with God. God is still faithful. God is still wonderful. God can stay inside you. Just like Jonah in the Bible. Remember the story? Jonah was angry with God. Knowing fully well that this God, uh, this God, is partial. He was sent on a mission, knowing fully well that uh, if he goes to that mission. So, as I was saying, it looks as if there's no hope. I remember when I was small, my as good as I was in secondary school, my junior brother came. I finished SSC, uh, all the college time. And I do not like it. One year, that was a joke. It's a joke. Three years, it's a joke. The institution, for five years, I was at home. But today is a different story. As if my family were against me, as if uh, the guys just useless. I remember some of those times also, people were asking, I'm still a Christian. Is it of God? Do you Bible believe in Christian? And you wonder why. I don't, know, I don't know whether you have felt that way before, but I, I have felt that way, but God has abandoned me. Again, I remind, I remind, I remind you God is a loving God. Uh, it's a faithful God. I know. I remember one of those days I traveled to a neighboring country. And the first time I trusted, trusted to to take me, take charge of me, take care of me. I didn't even see the person, and I was stranded. I looked as if I am in serious trouble. But at the long run, something came up, and I was delivered from it. So I don't know what you are going to. You know, we are just sharing your thoughts. So, just comment. Thoughts, because I believe uh, they say that uh, the problems shared is half solved, and sometimes it's always good for us to open up, tell it at, uh, as it is, and the essence is for whatever you are going through to be questioned by God. Because no matter how you are angry with God, if you can approach him, which of course is the plan of the devil, then like what they say in um, in our own language here, confront fire to fire, it means that that's no trouble for you. If you allow it to linger on, it will turn to it. If you allow it to linger on, 
it eats deep into your soul, it eats deep into your heart, and God does not exist. There's no supreme being. Or the God that exists at the throne of heaven. Or the God that exists is not faithful. So, I just want to encourage you today, regardless of how angry you are with God, how the situation looks so hopeless, how it looks as if the devil is winning. I looks as if the things you believe as a child of God, you begin to question it. You tight, you give offering, you make a sacrificial offerings, your first fruits, you do a lot of things, you serve God in very capacity in your church, and still, like, nothing's working. Now, this morning, um, we took a song. And then we are reminded of what is happening in Lagos about um, coronavirus. And then some people make the declaration that they don't, they can't hug, can't relate, can't touch because of coronavirus. Maybe that's even the case right now. Maybe have a coronavirus, maybe a sickness, maybe a disease, maybe something that is, that is eating you deep. The rest are sure that this God that we are serving is good. We rest assured, regardless of where we are playing at home, asking, how can I go to church? Maybe you're talking about you offended you. Maybe it's your pastor that offended you. They said one thing or the other that got you upset. Or they did something that is why you were right against you. That still means you take it out on church, on, on, on God. Because, you know, um, like David made a statement. He said, it's better for me to fall into the internet of God. And then to fall inside of men because God can be merciful. So I will, it's, it's, it's better for us to fall into God regardless of what we are going to because God, the Bible says, is mercy. You know, God does not, you know, His anger does not last for a lifetime. He's a merciful God. So regardless of what we are going to right now, the hurt, the pain, the divorce, the separation, the hopelessness, lack of jobs, lack of food, lack of clothing, and no. Your family does not understand you, they don't relate with you, they think you are useless, they think you are miserable, or you, have, you are an addict, you smoke, you drink, you are a prostitute, or whatever you have been called. Even as a church, even as a believer, hope in God. Let me pray with you. That the God of our grace, the situation for Jesus, Every heart, every day around for test. Maybe under the influence of any evil occurrence, such plans, such schemes of the enemy to be stopped right now in Jesus' name. Stop me with one addiction, one habit or the other. I command the deliverance of God upon you right now in the name of Jesus. So I want to thank you for those who are watching right now. I want to thank you for those who will watch later. I want to thank you for those who will comment later because I get feedback from people. Uh, we do we do a lot of help for me as a person. Um, uh, also, just to let you know, every Sunday, we have something to talk about. Like today, they right to be angry with God. And I can assure you, I can get angry and say not. I can get angry, but don't come to me. My name is Jibala. Um, I'm a relationship and married therapist. I'm a teen, teenager to young people. I'm passionate and I love them so much. I feel that personally, the schools are not doing, parents are not doing their job. Are not doing their job, some of them they are not relating very well to them because I believe the languages to which I don't know, people, church talks about, and then the leaders of the church don't understand them. So, there's a language to young people that thinks there's a way you relate to them that they get connected to you, and if you don't understand that, then you know. I, Move away from the church and go to another church that you understand them better. 
sometimes I hear people say, let them go, they don't understand, they don't know, it's really along the time. So there are languages to which you should uh, learn how to talk to young people. Uh, in most church, a vibrant church has to do with the young, young people's church. When they are when the church is vibrant, the church is vibrant. So that's what I do. Young people, counseling them online, in schools, in different institutions, secondary schools. So, this time next week, I'm going to go with us to talk about, and I'm sure you'll bless. God bless you.